Number one, retrograde menstruation. The most widely accepted theory for the cause of endometriosis is retrograde menstruation. This occurs when the menstrual blood and endometrial cells flow back through the fallopian tubes and into the pelvic cavity instead of out of the vagina. Endometrial cells then adhere to the pelvic organs and grow, causing endometriosis. While retrograde menstruation is common in many women, it is not yet clear why some women develop endometriosis while others do not. Number two, genetics. Genetics also play a role in the development of endometriosis. Women who have a family history of endometriosis are more likely to develop the condition themselves. Researchers have identified specific genes that may increase the risk of endometriosis. However, having a family history of endometriosis does not necessarily mean that a woman will develop the condition. Number three, hormones. Hormones, specifically estrogen, play a crucial role in endometriosis. Estrogen promotes the growth and proliferation of endometrial tissue, and women with endometriosis have been shown to have higher levels of estrogen in their bloodstream. However, it is still unclear whether high levels of estrogen cause endometriosis or whether endometriosis causes high levels of estrogen. Number four, immune system. The immune system plays a role in the development of endometriosis as well. A weakened immune system may not be able to recognize and eliminate endometrial cells that have migrated outside of the uterus, leading to growth and spread of the tissue. It is also possible that a hyperactive immune system may attack endometrial tissue in the pelvic cavity, leading to inflammation and pain. Number five, environmental factors. Environmental factors such as exposure to chemicals and toxins may also contribute to the development of endometriosis. Certain chemicals such as dioxins have been linked to an increased risk of endometriosis. However, more research is needed to determine the specific environmental factors that may contribute to endometriosis. Other factors may play a role in causing endometriosis, such as the age you first start having periods. People who begin menstruating before age 11 may be at higher risk. The length of your menstrual cycle and the duration of flow. Defects in your uterus or fallopian tubes. Understanding the causes of endometriosis is important for developing effective treatments and improving the quality of life for women with this condition. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video with your friends and family or anyone else you feel like will benefit from this video. If you want to support our work, please consider donating to our Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.